hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to discuss how to create such prints in your phone for free so before getting into the video let me introduce myself quickly my name is Pooja Shekhar I'm a fashion designer and an illustrator and I make fashion design and fashion education content on my channel so if you are interested in such content then, then do subscribe to my channel and uh, let's start today's video so the prints that you are going to uh, create in this video is not just about fabric prints you can just use them for multi-purpose like that's what i said in the thumbnail as well that these prints are multi-purpose prints like for example now you can see on screen like you can create banners you can create um, any kind of uh, if you are a graphic designer you can use this for your backgrounds and sort of things so it will be very helpful for you so and you can create these prints on your phone like that's the biggest deal of this video uh, and the biggest takeaway that you're going to take from this video and uh, yeah let's start and the application that we are going to use in this video is Autodesk Sketchbook and if you want to learn more about this application then you must check out all the videos on my channel like I made a lot and lot of content on this particular app and uh, yeah I opened my Autodesk sketchbook application and I'm ready to sketch so let's start sketching firstly I'm just checking the brush that I'm going to use so I'll be using pen tool to create this motif and then I'm just checking the color yes I selected the black color and yes firstly we need to create a motif and then use that motif to create a pattern so like that we will be creating this print so for that we need a motif first to create that motif i'll be using this symmetry tool so this symmetry tool will help me uh, create a symmetrical motif uh, what i mean to say is uh, whatever i draw in one part of this partition it will be repeated on the all the partition so i'm just drawing at one place the same thing is being repeated on all the other five five places like you can increase and decrease the partitions that's up to you so i have selected this and now i'm just drawing one by one all the elements that i'm drawing so you can see how symmetry works this is very helpful when it comes to creating uh, an ethnic motif which needs to be perfectly symmetrical so like this I'm adding each and every element into the motif and I'm just keep on drawing but as you can see like the strokes are not uh, perfectly lined they are kind of shaky so I'll be using this uh, stroke guide that will help me to create a perfect stroke uh, without any shakiness in the stroke and like this just add all the elements like whatever you feel like drawing just draw it and yes i completed the drawing of the motif now it's time to add color to the motif and i want to give something like this color like a turquoise green and purple and i want to do something like a, an out of the box kind of a color theme for this so yes the best thing about uh, this part is when you select adding color to the motif you need to set, uh, uh, touch on the outline as well so that the outline of the um, that element will also change uh, so you just need to touch on the outline and yes one thing is do not touch uh, on the canvas because as you saw the whole color of the canvas will be changed just touch the area where you want to fill the color if you want to fill the color inside the line then just do it if you want to change the color of the outline as well then just touch on the outline the color will be changed yes now color is uh, done like i've added all the colors and now the thing is uh, making a pattern out of this motif so i added another layer onto that and I duplicated this motif and I'm trying to adjust the size of the motif and the placement so that I can create a perfect pattern by using this motif so I kept this on the top left corner of the canvas and then I'm using copy paste 
option on this and I'm just pasting the same motif uh, beside each motif so I'll be using the nudge option this will help me to uh, drag the motif in a very uniform way and for the next line I copied the whole line and pasted the whole line below the first line and now you can see the extra part which is like uh, it has been cut in between so what how am i going to erase you just need to see this i'm selecting the selection option and i selected the area that i want to erase and i just touched selected clear option now the whole area that i want to clear is gone and now if i want to add another single motif here i do not have the single motif so i'll be selecting the single motif in this line so i'll be using the selection tool now so i'm selecting the only single motif i'm selecting and uh, be careful like i missed this part so if you want to add then press the add button on the selection tool the whole the extra part will also be selected now just copy and again paste it again by using the nudge option just drag the motif equally uh, in the uniform way and yeah we have created two lines successfully we just need to copy the line and paste as usual and now we have completely uh, we have completed the whole pattern the repeat pattern now let's just add the background color i want to add something darker so that the whole pattern looks uh, highlighted and elevated so yes after adding black color this is how our pattern is looking so guys we have successfully created a pattern in autodesk sketchbook which you can create using your android phone or any kind of phone or a tablet uh, you can create this you do not need to have any laptop or you don't you do not need to have any ipad you just you can just create it on your phone it's just that easy and it's a completely free app you do not need any kind of subscription to create this and for more such fashion design fashion education content do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to like this video if you have learned something out of this video then please do like this video if you have any kind of doubts regarding autodesk sketchbook you can comment on that on this video i i will definitely try to solve your problems and thank you so much for watching bye bye